A 70 year old Bruxer complains of loose dentures fabricated two years ago. First thing is loose dentures in a Bruxer. His dentures are adequately extended. Extensions are okay. With loss of vertical due to tooth wear. Tooth wear. Vertical loss. Centric relation and centric occlusion coincide. Okay. If soft liners are advised, which of the following considerations are not true? So soft lining is the procedure where you have a silicon based or an acrylic based material that is placed inside the intaglio surface of the denture. You ask the patient to close in the desired centric occlusion, which is the maximum intercourse patient for that patient. And in that position, the soft liner will take the shape of the tissues. So if the dentures are loose, then you can use a liner. If you want some healing phase, if you want some uh, if it is an interim kind of a restoration, immediate denture, where the tissues are either inflamed or healing, then in that case, you can go for a soft liner. So, which of this is not true? Okay, soft liner can provide cushioning effect to the denture bearing tissues, which is true, because that is the primary function of soft liners and tissue conditioners. Ensure a posterior palatal seal, posterior seal before relining, that is desirable, because you do not want the... Uh, uh, posterior part to get extra, there, there should be no thickening of soft liner in that area. You want it, it to be like an airtight container. The denture should fit like a container. The peripheral seal has to be maintained. Although you can reduce the borders and reline in those areas, but posteriorly ensure that there is a seal. Fit of the denture base can be improved by relining. Of course, that can be done because that is the primary purpose of relining. And desired loss of vertical can be corrected following relining. This is not true because if the vertical is lost, for example, in the given case, the teeth have worn out, you cannot correct that because you need to establish the teeth for that. You cannot compensate on the occlusal surface for the loss of tooth structure. Okay, So, these are a few uh, principles that you need to follow at the time of denture relining. Relining is the process of adding some material on the tissue side of the denture to fill the space between the tissue and the denture base. That answers your option 1 and 3, which are correct. Option 4, do not increase the occlusal vertical dimension. With the help of relining, you cannot compensate for the loss of occlusal vertical dimension. Other than that, multiple event contacts should be present. Do not permit the maxillary denture to move forward during impression making. Usually, you will go for a closed mouth impression. Do not permit the maxillary denture to move during impression making. Okay, ensure the centric relation and centric occlusion are identical, which is there in our given case. Ensure that an accurate posterior seal is established, like I told you, equal thickness of material should be used. In the given case, it is, it is suggested that you make a new denture for the patient. The other way to uh, minimize our work in this kind of a case is you use the record ways the existing denture, you trim off all the teeth. Now, because they have become loose, you reline that denture using open mouth technique. So, that becomes your final impression. So, you save the primary impression and the final impression stage and directly you can go for jaw relation by trimming off the teeth on the new, on the same record base, the relined record base. So, that saves two appointments. Or otherwise, you can always make a new denture because the teeth have worn out and you will have to change those teeth.